like a lot of people, I have seen dozens of productions of Fiddler on the Roof, going back to high school or community theaters or various touring shows that have come and gone from the city. None of them even come close to the majesty of the newest production that's just opened at the Lyric Opera. If I were a rich man, yabba be a be a be a be a be a be a bum. All day long, I'd be a be a bum. If I were a wealthy man. So once a year, the Lyric Opera puts on its uh, puts its usual array of classics on hold in order to stage a good old-fashioned American musical. And this year, they have really outdone themselves with Fiddler on the Roof that literally burst out onto the stage with its nearly 100-person cast of actors and dancers and chorus members that hold nothing back staying true to the tradition of the story while throwing in a few new twists along the way. Here you get transported into the world of Tevye, the milkman who, along with his wife Golda, are raising their daughters in a small Jewish village in Russia as the world is changing and long-standing traditions are being challenged. The stage version that debuted in 1964 became the model for nearly every fiddler that followed until this new tale of family, love, and tradition came along, finding explosively new ways to tell this story. The staging is simple, but very creatively takes your hand into this family's history and then, with stunningly beautiful performances on every level, sings those familiar songs and reinvents some of their signature dance numbers. I promise you, you will not see a bigger, more ambitious, all-inclusive production of any show as is presented on the Lyric Opera's massive stage. Other producers and directors should take note. This is how shows should be done. It is a must-see, Dean's List, A-plus, in town only until October the 7th. You can go to lyricopera.org to get more information and tickets. All right.